combat vehicles of the Philippine Marine Corps. The Marines have used an assortment of combat vehicles throughout the years, from homemade gun trucks to its newest asset, the KAAV-7. We take a closer and an in-depth look at the current and former combat vehicles of the Philippine Marine Corps. The KAAV-7A1 The KAAV-7A1 is an amphibious vehicle based on the AAV-7A1 by Samsung Techwin and BAE Systems. It was developed and manufactured in South Korea. The KAAV-7A1 is a fully tracked amphibious landing vehicle and is the current amphibious troop transport of the Philippine Marine Corps. It has a crew of 3 plus 21 fully equipped soldiers. Its main armament is the Mark 19 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Its secondary armament is the M2HP 50 caliber machine gun. Its operational range is 480 kilometers on land, while on water it could go up to 20 nautical miles. Its maximum speed is 45 miles per hour on surface roads, while it could also go at 8.2 miles per hour on water. The V-150 Commando The Cadillac Gage Commando, frequently denoted as the M706 in US military service, is an American armored car designed to be amphibious. Delivery of the V-150 started at 1975, and at least 18 are known in service, and furthermore 12 were refurbished in 2007. The V-150 was a hybrid variant from which actually came after the V-200 has a crew of 3 plus 9 fully equipped soldiers. Its armament often included 2 or 3 top mounted M2 or M60 machine guns. The operational range of the V150 is 644 kilometers and it could go at a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour. The LAV300 the LAV-300 6x6 is the complement to the Cadillac Gage 4x4 Commando series. In March 1993, the US Army TAC awarded Cadillac Gage a contract for the supply of 24 LAV-300s to the Philippines. Of the 24 vehicles, 12 have two-man Cadillac Gage turret armed with a 90mm CMI Defense Mark III gun and a 7.62mm machine gun. The remaining 12 has a one-person turret armed with one 50 caliber M2 heavy machine gun and one 7.62mm machine gun. The LAV-300 is fully amphibious without preparation. It has a crew of 3 plus 9 soldiers. Its maximum road speed is 100 km per hour while its maximum road range is 400 kilometers. The Philippine Marine Corps gun trucks. The first several M35 2.5 ton cargo trucks to be converted to armored gun trucks by the PMC used armor plating from decommissioned LBT-5 acting as armored personal carriers or armored escort vehicles. In 2004, the Philippine Marines have started an in-house manufacture and conversion of up to 15 gun trucks to serve as convoy escorts in areas where Marines operate. It's important to note that these gun trucks do not replace other Philippine Marine armored assets but are meant to free those for other missions. The armaments of the gun trucks included 50 caliber machine guns, having each on its sides. The LVTP Dash 5. The LVTP-5 or Landing Vehicle Track Personnel is a family of amphibious armored fighting vehicles formerly used by the Philippine Marine Corps. The LVTP-5 was a large vehicle with an inverted V-shaped bow that made for more efficient water operation. The main armament of the LVTP-5 is a single 30 caliber machine gun has an operational range of 306 kilometers on road and could go at 92 kilometers on water. The maximum speed is 48 kilometers per hour while on water it could go at 11 kilometers per hour. 
As per CIPRI.org, the Philippine Marines received 17 LVTP-5s in 1975. The LVTH-6 The LVTH-6 or Landing Vehicle Tracked Howitzer was the armored amphibian version of the LVTP-5. The hulls were identical, but the H-6 had a turret armed with a 105mm howitzer. Its main armament is the M49 105mm howitzer. It has a crew of 3 plus 25 full equipped soldiers. It was previously out of service, but it was refurbished and recommissioned in 2006 with armor upgrades.